Hi, I'm Sky and I'm a 26 year old and I'm a proud muddy, muddy woman from the border of New South Wales and Victoria and I'm a very proud Indigenous woman. I'm a paler skinned Indigenous person so when I tell people that I'm an Indigenous person they're always like, are you sure? What percentage are you? Like really? Like you're too white to be Indigenous? So I've got that awkward moment where I'm too white to hang out with the indigenous kids and then I'm too indigenous to hang out with the white kids because I'm kind of in the middle on that awkward fence line. And then in the queer community because I came out and I was sheltered, like I sheltered myself and I came out really late, I don't know many contacts and it's that awkward moment going in and introducing yourself and then you still feel like that awkward outcast because you're not because you don't know and everyone knows each other in the queer community because it's such a tight-knit community and then you still feel like an awkward outcast because you're that white indigenous queer kid mm -hmm. I don't know it's like going back to primary school and you're that last kid that doesn't get picked for the soccer team yeah it's like that I don't know a lot about my indigenous culture and I'm learning as I go along on my trip to Darwin a few years ago, I came across a group up in Darwin and they were doing a drag performance actually, that's how I came across them, and they were really incredible to talk to. They were all sister girls that were doing drag and they were incredible, they were from the Tiwi Islands and they were amazing. And I guess that made me think, well, I'm not alone in my queer community from being Indigenous. And I don't think anyone thinks to ask because when they think about Aboriginal history, they're, in, they're thinking about the music, the stories, the songs, the artwork, and what the artwork means, but they're not necessarily thinking about the people that might have created the artwork, that might have been gay or lesbian, or that might have been transgender. But we all know there was life here before Captain Cook came. And we all know that, and like, but we don't know what happened because the European settlers had obviously destroyed everything, but there's got to be more to this story than what we already know. And um, the Europeans thought they could breed us out, but we're still here kicking and fighting like hundreds and hundreds of years on. So there must be some hundreds and hundreds of generations of LGBT people in our communities and in our generation line and bloodlines that we have forgotten about. Just like we'd forgotten about our black diggers that went over to fight the wars. We hear about them, but we don't hear about the triumphs of our own LGBT people. It just doesn't make sense.